Okay, I'm gonna film tonight a, uh, um, some tips to use on any pyramid tent. I'm using a, a, a Hyperlite Mountain Gear Ultimate 4. I've had this in the backcountry a couple of times and actually been disappointed and had to use a, a, you know, a more traditional style tent in some real bad wind. Uh, so I've spent a lot of time trying to learn different ways to deal with, with this tent and I actually am starting to love it. The versatility is unmatched. But uh, common problems in a rainstorm with really heavy wind, uh, the line locks that you have um, on all four corners of the tent, uh, and and you also have them at the mid tie outs, uh, at the midsection of, of the four walls. Uh, these are really uh, dangerous in a situation of uh, rapidly changing wind direction. They'll uh, especially when they get wet. So the wind will pop tension in and out really fast and then they'll slip and it'll it'll slide, you know, sometimes all the way up to the stopper knot. So the way that you deal with that when you're, uh, you know, trying to have a little extra measure of safety is you just tie a half hitch loop uh, at the end uh, and, and, and that locks that into place. So it's, it's simply just as simple as that and then pulling it tight and then no matter how much the wind uh you, you know beats on that it's not going to pull that loose uh the second thing that is a really important key for for these uh kind of tents is strong pegs or if you're more of a purist and like to tie it off to rocks that's fine but in most soil types an eight or a nine inch a tube style peg works the best and set the peg as deep as you can get it. Uh, you, know, you, you want something that you can pound down real deep. You want good solid soil, not not loose loamy soil. And then uh, then you can pull everything tight. And again, like I said, if I if I want any security when I'm asleep with a line lock, I'm going to use a half hitch, uh, you know, trucker's hitch kind of style, quick release loop on the end, and then I'm going to jam it by popping the the cam up on the line lock just a little bit and then that's going to stay solid it's not going to get uh, weak uh, what i do on uh, a lighter weight and more solid uh, hitch is uh, an adjustable grip hitch uh, i use four turns on a rough uh, uh, line if i'm using dyneema i do five or six turns rather than, uh, you know, the three or four that it shows in most of the knot books. This will not slip at all under any kind of load, even if the load is popping in and out. So I can adjust the tension on that. It's much better than the taut line hitch and, uh, you know, some of the some of the other friction hitches that you see uh, in, in books. I'm a big proponent of using diamond, uh, diamond knot prussics at any kind of an auxiliary guy out point. I'm going to show you why. Uh, a diamond prussic, diamond knot prussic starts with a carrick bend. Uh, it's an easy knot to tie. It takes a little bit of uh, finesse to tighten it. it. Takes a little patience. It's not a good knot for pulling in this direction, but it's an excellent knot for how big it is. Uh, so, rather than carrying a lot of extra guy line weight on all four corners of the mid. Same thing with tunnel tents or anything else that I'm trying to, to uh, you know, minimize weight and use a thicker strap at the guy point rather than thin Dyneema. Um, I tie, a, I, I, I tie a, a minimum three millimeter thicker cordage on the guy loop, tie the diamond knot, and then what I do uh, is I take the guy line and just use a lark's head uh, that can just literally be slipped on and off any one of those auxiliary guy out points and uh you know with a single uh you know just a simple lark's head that i can take on and off easily i can connect this it's going to be kind of tricky to do with one hand but maybe is a good demonstration of how easy it is too And that knot will never come loose if you set it tight. Uh, sometimes people will do what's called a cat's paw, 
which is an additional turn than than the simple lark's head uh making it even harder to you know come loose but you can this way you you actually can use you know one to two millimeter dyneema that is a lot lighter than this thicker cord you can hook it on uh to this thicker cord section that's going to protect the guy loop on the tent on the tarp and then uh it'll latch on there and this knot is the largest uh, stopper knot that can feasibly be tied uh, in this kind of material. And then you can have a line that, um, you know, in this case, I'm if I've got wind coming strong at this direction, on a pyramid tent, the higher that you are up uh, towards the top, the more efficient the line will be in stabilizing the tent in the wind. And so in this situation, I use an alpine butterfly. Alpine butterfly is your best uh, midline loop knot that uh, can take a load in any direction and it remains easy to untie. I'll just, uh, uh, you know, torque it tight and then I'll use a half hitch, uh, you, you know, like you'd use with a trucker's hitch knot, just like I used on the line locks to, to tighten that. And I can do that to a stake, a rock, a tree, whatever. But uh, that's that's basically uh, that's basically the secrets to keeping um, a mid uh, well anchored and being able to handle storms that come from different directions. In my particular application, I'll have two long uh, pieces of, of of actual Dyneema rather than this uh, sheathed Dyneema that's a little bit thicker, heavier, more moisture absorbent absorbent uh, cord. Uh, but but the really thin Dyneema is all you need. It weighs nothing, and you can hook that to these diamond knot prussics, and yet not damage your um, your guy line guy line loops. Uh, one other thing uh, about this uh, style of tent that is um, you know incomparable is how much ventilation you can change by raising and lowering uh, the tent uh, depending upon uh, if you want you know, more weather protection or more breeze going through. Uh, you just can't do that with a traditional tent. Just makes it amazing. You can go from, a, you know, a 30 degree night and having comfort to sitting in the tent for, you know, a midday card game. And you can raise the tent a foot off the ground if, if, if you have an adjustable pole uh, inside and just makes it really slick. Uh, love it now that I know how to use it.